Hello everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's video, we will learn how to calculate magnification and actual size. The equation is very easy and straightforward. All you need to remember is I am. Just place I am in a triangle and you can solve for any variable. I stands for the image size. Now you know that cells, whether they're eukaryotic or prokaryotic, organelles, they're all microscopic. Their actual size A is in the range of micrometer or nanometer. But they are magnified, right? Magnification, M. X amount of times for us to be able to see them as an image. So if an organism is magnified 100 times, you will see the image 100 times bigger. And hence the equation. The actual size times magnification gives you the size of the image. But we will be asked to find the A or the M. Therefore, keep in mind the triangle so that if we are asked to find A, then A will be equal to I divided by M. And if we're asked to calculate the magnification M, then M will be equal to I divided by A. Before we solve both scenarios, let's look at units and unit conversions. When you're measuring image size, convert centimeter to millimeter. For example, this scale bar is 2.8 centimeter. Multiply it by a 10, and that's 28 millimeter. Now, if you're very confident with unit conversions and you know how to tackle converting centimeter to micrometer, then feel free to do so. But for those who struggle with units, my advice is to first convert centimeter to millimeter. Next, if the actual size on the scale bar is in micrometer, let's say this is 2 micrometer, then multiply the size of the image by 10 to the power of 3. If the actual size on the scale bar is in nanometer, then you'll need to convert from millimeters to nanometers. As you can see in the conversion of units, from millimeter to micro, it's 10 to the power of 3, and from micro to nano, it's an additional 10 to the power of 3, which means if you want to convert from millimeters to nanometers, that's going to be 10 to the power of 6. Let's explain all this by actually solving the questions. We will solve two questions. The first question says calculate the magnification of the image. First things first, let's draw the triangle. So calculate the magnification, we want to find M, magnification. To find M, we will need I, image size, divided by A. I is the size of the image. For that, I will need the ruler, I will place it on the scale bar, and I can read four centimeters. Now, four centimeters is 40 millimeters. Remember, just multiply it by 10. The actual size of the scale bar is two micrometers. So let's write that here, two micrometers. This 40 right here is in millimeters. So to convert from milli to micro, we need to multiply by 10 to the power of three. So I'm going to multiply the 40 by 10 to the power of three so that I have the value in micrometers. Finally, divide 40,000 by two, you will get 20,000 times magnification. And this is the answer to the question. Now, the second question differs in two things. First of all, we are required to calculate the actual size of the cell. And second, we don't have a scale bar. We're going to use, it says use the yellow line for image size. So we're going to use this yellow line for finding the size of the image. As always, we're going to start with a triangle, I, M. We know the magnification. We know the size of the image and we are asked to find the actual size A. So A is image size divided by magnification. For the image size, you will use a ruler, you will place it on the yellow line, and I can read 4.5 centimeters. We agreed 
4.5 centimeters is 45 millimeters. That's the first thing that I want you to do. As I copy 45 in the image size, multiply that by 10 to the power of 3 to get it in micrometers, divided by magnification, which is given it's 4,000 times magnified. 45,000 divided by 4,000 is 11.25 micrometer. And this is it for today's video. I hope you found it easy. Try to practice finding the actual size as well as the magnification. And of course, a quick disclaimer, you will not have a sketchy cartoon characters like this. You will have real micrographs where you're going to have either organelles or whole cells, and you will be asked to find the actual size or the magnification. So you guys keep practicing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.